We made it in. <laughs> So we just got off the bus um, from our hotel and we're walking to Walt Disney Studios Park, which is kind of like Hollywood Studios. I think the first thing we're gonna do is get some food. Um, we accidentally slept in a little later than we expected, but um, yeah, we're excited to do some of the Marvel rides. I've never been to Disneyland, so I've never been to the Marvel side over there. So this seems like it'll be pretty similar, so I'm excited to see that. And they have Tower of Terror here as well, so that's one of my favorite rides at Hollywood Studios, so it'll be super exciting to kind of compare both of them. We're walking into the front entrance of the park right now, and it looks very similar to Hollywood Studios, but they have a little Mickey Tower, and I saw that they have a Mickey hat as well, a Sorcerer Mickey hat. I'm so excited. When you walk in, it looks like you're inside a studio. It looks like just a set. And there's different um, shops. And then you walk out to the rides and everything. But yeah, this is where the main area is. It definitely looks like Hollywood. You can definitely tell that they drew inspiration from Hollywood. In the store, there's Herbie right above our heads as we're walking through. So cool. And then they have all this marble stuff. So you walk in and you see a statue, the partner statue of Walt and Mickey. That's so fun. And then to the right, you can see the Sorcerer Mickey hat. And then Tower of Terror immediately to your left. I love this part. As a studios girl, this is this is making me so happy. Literally, Kachow. Lightning McQueen is coming through. <laughs> You're away. Yay! We're eating lunch here at Stark Factory. Yeah, Stark Factory. Um, and they have great pizza, pasta, and then they had a quinoa salad that I just ate. Um, so yeah, we're feeling happy and full and ready to start our day. This is probably my favorite restaurant we've been to so far. And the theming is incredible in here. Feels like you're right in the movies. We just got in line for Flight Force. Um, it's supposed to be a roller coaster, uh, so we'll see what it's like and see if we like it afterwards. Um, we've heard that it's similar to uh, hyperspace, so we'll see if there's any loops in it. But yeah, we're super excited. <laughs> On a une nuit de missiles qui se dirige vers nous. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I was on Earth right now, I'd care. Okay, so we just we just got off of uh, off of Flight Force, and we discovered something. It is the exact same ride track. Yeah, it's the exact same. Like you can ask Sam before the corkscrew. I said there's a corkscrew coming up. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was. It's the same ride ride track as Rockin'. So yeah. I loved it. Rockin's my favorite ride. So yeah, ten out of ten. We love that. Um, I think hyperspace is still better, but you know, it's so good. But Caroline almost lost her glasses. Literally, if you wear glasses, don't wear them. I don't care if you don't, if you want to see the actual pictures, if they're blurry, it doesn't matter. Don't like, do it. Don't it's not worth it. <laughs> and Spider-Man is right out here greeting us after we got off of the ride. So fun. <laughs> we're standing outside the Tower of Terror right now. I think we're gonna maybe ride that soon. Um, uh, we'll see if it's similar to the one back at home. But yeah, we really, really liked Flight Force though. That was a really good ride. Um, we still have the Spider-Man rides to do 
Um, but other than that, yeah, we're kind of chugging along through all of it. So yeah, we're enjoying our day. Yeah. How are you feeling so far? Pretty good. I mean, I now that I'm off it, I would probably do flight force again. Yeah. Like it was just like. <laughs> it was. Know. It's a lot. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. My face you know, in the photos. <laughs> I don't even know how to make that visual anymore. <laughs> the wait times are a little long today. That's the only bad part. Maybe it might go down a little bit or at night when like when there's when there's no kids, you know? Right. But yeah. So cute. So we're in line for Tower of Terror right now and the outside didn't have a wait time posted. And Sam checked and it said 15 and we asked the attendant and he said 15. So we're basically gonna walk on to this ride. So we're super excited about that. This is the shortest line for tower I've ever seen. And um, it's the shortest wait time here so far. So that'll be so fun. We just got off of Tower of Terror and that version here in Paris is so much creepier than the Walt Disney World version. Also, um, they dropped you straight away, which I was not expecting. Um, so that was so fun. It was like a brand new experience for me. Um, but yeah, I would totally ride it again. I, I really think it's so much better than Walt Disney World. Um, but now I would love to see Disneyland because I think Disneyland's track is the same as this one, but it's Guardians. So yeah, that was, that was really great. So I just ate a ham and cheese crepe at the food stall and then we went on the Ratatouille ride, which was really, really fun. It's the same as Walt Disney World. Um, but the coolest thing about that is that they actually have Remy's restaurant just right next to the ride, which makes it that much more um, cohesive. I wish we had a Remy restaurant in Walt Disney World, maybe eventually, but yeah, it's, it's straightforward, really like the ride. Would do it again, only if there is a low wait time. Remy the Ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. <laughs> Comment ça va? Je suis Peter Parker. Ici chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie, comme le vibranium du Wakanda ou ce fluide extraterrestre dément. On a les particules de Pim et Star Trek. Ça nous permet de développer des trucs incroyables. We just got out of the Web Slinger ride and we thought it was going to be like. So, so we just got out of the Spider Man ride and that was insane. Caroline's score was so good. You were over, what were you? 200,000? No, no, that was all together. No, you had two hundred. Two, two hundred. Yeah, because we had seven, seven fours. I don't know. You have a thousand. picture. Of yeah, I have a picture. You had the the best score. I just took all. Going like yeah. This. No, oh, so God. so it's like Toy Story Mania, but there's no gun. You don't pull anything. You don't push anything. You use your hand to yeah. swing webs just the whole time to go. Like, yeah, that was so fun. My whole body hurts now because I was getting way into it. Like, I was slinging those webs. No, it was so fun. Honestly, for little kids too. Like, that would be so fun to see your webs slinging. Okay. It was so fun. So, 10 out of 10 recommend that ride. That was the most fun ride I've ever done. The technology, I am so, I'm so impressed. Very clear and Sam are both talking to their parents and telling them how cool this ride is. We are totally in shock right now. Freaking way they all do that! Look at that! Look! Wow! Wow! We're walking past the Sorcerer Mickey hat and you can see Peter Pan up there as well as the other figures from uh, his movie. There's uh, Wendy up there. But yeah, it reminds me of the old Sorcerer Mickey hat. So that makes me so happy that they have one here. We're about to get on Crush's coaster. 
We just got off of Crush's coaster and it's like you're riding in a turtle shell. It's super fun. It's a good one for kids, but it also kind of like starts you out backwards and spins you around a little bit. Kind of like, you know, you're on the tur turtle shell and you're going up and down the coaster and kind of spinning around. Um, that one made me a little woozy. Uh, normally I can do every other ride. It's going, I think whenever it's a spinning motion, like a, just a, in a circle, unless there's a low weight, I probably won't be riding that one again, but it is super fun, especially if you like spinning rides. No! No! It's not that bad. Why? We just got off of the Army Men parachutes. Caroline, what did you think? <laughs> she, she did it. She did it. She was scared immediately, but you know what? We survived. Yay!